Hello everyone and welcome to Jump Man Tech where we specialize in HVAC but do everything DIY. Today we're going to be mounting two three ton condenser units on a brick wall. Thank you to everyone tuning in to Jumper Man Tech. Today's task, we're gonna be mounting two condenser units on a brick wall. I had a couple questions where people were asking me, what kind of hardware do I use? What kind of tool do I use? And exactly how do we put together a wall mount bracket and mount it onto a brick wall? There's currently no way to get to this backyard. So we're gonna have to take apart this fence, which you can see somebody actually did already. Get back here and we're gonna mount it somewhere on that wall down there the second condenser unit let's go that's fine come all right Tapped it up One, two, three One. drop it drop it dolly now One. all right Let's roll it over. Push. All right, we got both condensing units here. This is a completely new installation. This looks like this is their old unit. So that sort of pipes going through here. This is no longer gonna be. They have a drop ceiling, so I'm probably gonna have to make a penetration higher up and go through there so you don't see any pipes, but right here this is the complete corner this is already a different business so we're from right here to about right here so my idea is to hang it right here one here and one here got all this stuff here in the way i have to clear that out stuff like this i have to cut it out the way we have to move this out the way and let's just start by clearing out this space it's being no longer used and let's clean it up let's start by cutting out some of these branches I saw it was cut on the other side already. We're doing, doing the construction. All right. Cool. All right, volts AC, power is coming from the top. Nope, nope, nope. These go down, so that's impossible. All right, so we're good to chop this all up.
That's looking a lot better. Okay, there's my extension cord for my hammer drill. So, this is the area we're working with. I just want to get it off the floor. So, in case of snow, large rain puddles, stuff like that, it's not going to affect the machine. So, finally, let's begin. So, here's our two brackets. This is what's going to get mounted onto the wall to hold our condensing unit. This is my hammer drill. This is what we're going to use to drill into the concrete using these special concrete bits and what's gonna hold this is sleeve anchors these things work really well so this is what we got with our kit we got this one piece which is actually really cool because it comes with a level on it this gets mounted onto the wall and then we got these two legs it's awesome because it has this little thing right here so it helps with like vibration it's adjustable and it comes with nuts and bolts and what's really cool is that it actually comes with sleeve anchors the same ones that i had in that package this is an awesome kit let's begin to install this thinking is to mount one directly underneath this window and then one right here this is where that previous penetration was we're gonna have to go above high so we can go through the drop ceiling so nobody sees these pipes so I don't want it to go above this window, maybe somewhere about here or so. So this unit's height is about 31 and a half. And then from here, let's just say 20. It's about 20 and a half. So 20 and a half. I'm gonna be right here. And then let's just say that 31. Yeah. We want the bottom of the bracket right here where I made this. And this is where we're actually going to mount the bracket. So let me explain. We want the bottom where that is. Here, we want the bottom to match with this. So right there we're going to begin by mounting this against the wall this one right here with the level right here and like that we're not going to go above the window and we should stop somewhere around here or so and i think that's going to look good we're almost two feet off the ground we'll be totally fine i mean look at this unit it's just sitting on the tonnage about two inches off the floor so 20 inches 21 inches above the ground more than enough and i think it's gonna look great and it's gonna be a little more comfortable to service so i'm gonna take this out and this out and we're gonna want to center this so a little something like that and we're gonna want to mount it like this let's start with this each kit came with six sleeve anchors Personally, I don't think that's enough. We got two, four, six holes just for this. And then you're going to also want to put a little something, at least in this, maybe two. I would put two. I'd rather have this secure than not. So you might say I might overdo it, but it's better safe than sorry. Last thing you want on a new installation is this thing dropping on you. So whatever support you can get, I'm going to use it. So I'm going to use some of theirs and I'm going to use some of mine. And let's go ahead and start drilling. Okay, let's make sure this is straight as possible. And right there, that's gonna be our spot. So, I'm just gonna give a marking. So we know this is our areas to work with says that this sleeve anchor is a 3 8 diameter so i'm using a 3 8 concrete bit these sleeve anchors are good for brick block and concrete applications
like this. Smack it in. And as you tighten down, it expands and holds down the brick. Hold it down a little so I can push this through. Yep. Put your finger. Right there. And we're gonna repeat this process. centered so from here I'm gonna drill this down make sure it's straight yep it's already holding down so as you tighten down it expands and it really opens up in the wall and it holds awesome That's great. So that's in there and leveled. And now these, I showed you earlier, can slide through and they're adjustable. Let's get the next one. Let's slide that on. So that's 31 and a half. So it's gonna stop right here. That's perfect. So what we need to do is measure these holes right here, because that's where it's really gonna sit on. So the center point is about 25 and a half. So let's say we started with this, say right here. So we need to go from center to center. We need 25 and a half. And you kind of want this to be even. Mark the holes on both sides. Now we can drill it. I think I got stuck in there for a second. Do top and bottom. This might be a little hard because I'm kind of in between the brick. We'll see. be able to just go right through it like that tighten down on all of these one last time I want it nice and tight this is a deep socket you can see that the bolt is sticking through as far as that drill attachment it's not a deep setup so it's not gonna go that much so I just want to make sure this is real tight and everything is gonna hold real well mm -hmm. Some hold better than others, so that's why it's always good to have more screws on here. Better safe than sorry. This is a heavy condensing, and it's a three-ton unit. I'm not, not going to catch well like this one. I feel like it's going to come out of the wall, so I added another one. So if you need to add more, add more. You better safe than sorry, guys. There we go. Nice. All right, if it go hold me, this thing ain't going nowhere. Let's hang it out, man. Let's just send, let's get it to the center. 
All right, all right, one, two, three, go. All right, drop it, center it. Okay, all right, those are adjustable now. So we're just gonna have to mess around with it. Let's just slide that back, center yours. Move the machine, yep. And then we gotta find a place where we can put the... Oh, we gotta get this plastic off too. Okay. Where we can put the screw through. From here, we just put the washer and the bolt through. Lined up everything. It's looking good. And pretty much all we gotta do from here, is just tighten it down. Make sure it's secure. Yeah, man, that looks great. That's awesome. So now we have one more to go. I want to leave a little bit of space right here so we can put like a, a disconnect, run that through and also have space to run the pipe. So the next one's going to be about here. There's also a set of nuts and bolts out here. So don't forget to tighten this down. You want this tight. So we got one more to go, but we're going to end this video here as we're just going to repeat the same process. Now you guys know what to do. If anyone found this video interesting or helpful, please drop a like, comment, and subscribe as I come out with new videos every week. And I'll catch you all next time.